You know, I really don't get why The Flash's fourth season gets so much hate these days. I mean, sure, there may have been a few cringy pep talks and some odd story choices here and there, but at the same time, there was a lot of really cool stuff in that season. Barry had a great looking suit, he did some awesome stuff with his powers without f***ing up first, and he had a really badass villain that season. Well, at first he did anyway. That whole thing just got really, really dumb the longer the whole body swapping thing went on. I mean, come on, this was cool. I thought this was okay. Who the f*** thought changing this into this made anything better? That's really dumb. But, but he's so cool! But that's so dumb! Seriously though, side note, does anybody else remember the big ass plot hole all that body invading opened up in the season finale? During the episode, titled We Are The Flash, we saw Barry and Team Flash saving the day yet again, defeating the Thinker's Matrix Reloaded clones inside Ralph Dibney's mind and helping Ralph get back in control of his body, all before Barry ran a lot and punched a falling satellite. So all in all, a pretty average day for him. Thing is though, Barry probably could have saved himself a ton of trouble with that second part if he just got Ralph to take out the satellite. I mean, he could have done it easy enough with all those extra powers he has now. Curious, right? Why comics? What extra powers do you mean? Well, like I mentioned earlier, DeVoe pretty much spent the entire season body jumping from bus meta to bus meta, gaining more and more superpowers in the process, before hopping into the one super stretchy body that could handle all that excess dark matter those powers brought with them. But with DeVoe's mind out of the way after the season finale, shouldn't that mean Ralph has one of the largest collections of powers in the entire Arrowverse? You'd think so, but nobody ever mentions them again for some reason. I mean, okay, maybe he doesn't know how to use them right off the bat like DeVoe did, but if a satellite is about to crash into your city, something that's apparently going to kill millions of people in the process, wouldn't you think Ralph would want to start experimenting and figure that shit out as soon as possible? More importantly than that though, think of all the possibilities this opens up after Season 4. You really think Ralph would have gotten KO'd by blood work if he was still basically Team Flash's version of Superman? You think the Anti-Monitor Shadow Demons would have stood a chance against a guy they couldn't even touch? Seriously, with everything that's happened after Season 4, Ralph really should have tried to make those powers work by now. But it's like the writers just forgot he had them after the season wrapped up. Or did they? See, if you go back and rewatch DeVoe's last moments on the show, or at least pay attention to how the whole power transferring thing worked throughout Season 4, then you'll realize that the writers actually explained everything away pretty neatly by making it so Ralph never actually had any of those extra powers in the first place. Can I buy some pot from you? Now before y'all call me crazy, just hear me out for a second. First things first, let's go over the basics of DeVoe's plan again. Manipulate a bunch of people into getting on a specific Central City bus, use Barry's return from the Speed Force as a way to unleash a bunch of dark matter and give them all powers, then steal those powers by taking over their bodies one at a time, and profit. Now that's fine and all, but did you ever stop and wonder how DeVoe kept all those powers every time he jumped into a new body? I mean, if we're going off the idea that Ralph should still have all the extra dark matter in his system because DeVoe isn't hanging around in there anymore, then the Thinker should just be wasting his time every time he picks up a new body, right? Like, yeah, it makes sense that he can use whatever powers are swirling around in whatever new body he takes over, but according to this logic, that specific metahuman's dark matter should still be stuck in that body whenever DeVoe decides to head out. And speaking of, shouldn't his super intelligence have gotten stuck in his old body when he jumped over to Dominic Lance and framed Barry for murder? The lights aren't on, nobody's home, that dark matter is stuck where it is, right? Well, no, obviously, because that makes no sense. Instead, based on what all we've seen, it looks more like the source of metahuman abilities are tied to their mind, consciousness, personality, you know, whatever you want to call it, rather than just their body, and that a combination of Dominic's telepathic powers, plus a little tech know-how from Clifford's wife Marlies, is what allows DeVoe to copy his powers into whatever new body he's got. I mean, we know dark matter can exist throughout a person's body, including their brain, so there's at least some connection between the brain and superhuman abilities in general, and even though we don't really know that much about how DeVoe did the whole power transfer thing, we do know that he needed Dominic's power specifically. Only your unique abilities will allow me to do this. And that he later described the process as more than just transplanting his consciousness from one body to another. But we've accomplished far beyond a simple transfer of consciousness. We've extracted that which elevates our humanity and added upon it. If I had to guess at what each part was doing, I'd say he probably needed Dom's powers to help create the link between two minds, maybe hack the other brain and make it more receptive to DeVoe's incoming consciousness, which could also help transfer the dark matter from the other meta to DeVoe's mind, and the tech Marlies developed to help stabilize the transfer and basically get the process going in the first place. But hold on a minute. Shouldn't that technically mean that Ralph has access to all of DeVoe's stolen powers anyway? I mean, his personality did take over and replace what was the main one for a few episodes, kind of like what DeVoe did to all those other metas. It's close enough for this show's writers anyway, so I'd say it's a definite possibility at least. And that's on top of the fact that Ralph still has one of the powers DeVoe stole, that being his own stretchiness. So it's not a stretch. <laughs> Thank you.
that he'd have more hanging around in there, right? I mean, come on, it's not like DeVoe jumped anywhere else, right? Well, actually, yes, he did. Just after Ralph took back control of his body, we found out DeVoe managed to avoid being erased completely by jumping from Ralph's body to his chair using Kilgore's Technopath powers. Another use of Mr. Deacon's powers. Technological reincarnation. Then he ended up literally getting shut down anyway, so I guess there was really no point to any of that. But seriously though, I know some of you guys are probably like, well, how do we know DeVoe didn't just make a copy of his personality and put that in the chair, leaving all the powers with Ralph anyway? And yeah, I guess the crazy guy leaving all his powers behind for no real reason could make some sense. At least till you remember that he still managed to fuck around with the Star Labs computers as a hologram. Cisco, he's taking over. So yeah, I'm gonna assume he's still got his main powers after getting the old boot from Ralph's mind. Speaking of, as far as Ralph's powers go, he probably still gets to keep his, considering how DeVoe stupidly left him alive in his own mind as part of a convoluted plan to take control of Barry too. Access to all of time, true knowledge, and now that you have placed him inside my mind, I'll have it all. Since DeVoe's consciousness never actually replaced Ralph's, the usual transfer rules don't really apply here, and Ralph wasn't actually affected by DeVoe taking over his body. I guess it sucks that Team Flash never really had their own Superman, but on the plus side, it's probably for the best this way. But anyways guys, that's my take on what all happened to those bus meta powers Ralph had in Season 4 of The Flash. If you guys agreed with anything I said in this video, or if you have your own thoughts you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and click that like button, and if you're new, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too. I've also got links to my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Patreon in the description. You should probably check those out too. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can click the link to my last video. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Alright, and I will see you all next time.